Hello everyone, Kelly here for today's video. I thought I would share a really great experience I had recently with um, a company called Synthfire. To my knowledge, they are a kind of EDM themed publisher that does lots of great content. They do reviews of songs, they do updates in that community, and they kind of like bring really interesting photos on their Instagram and other channels, as well as, you know, highlighting DJs and events and festivals and stuff that kind of like permeates in the EDM scene. So I was actually contacted by them and they expressed interest in shooting some of my fursuits. Um, I have attended Heli to, I've attended EDC in Heli before and I've gone to a few shows in Heli. So she's the more recognizable of the two suits that I have in that community. So they actually reached out and wanted to do a photo shoot and the photos just came back today. I have permission from the site to actually share some of them with you and I thought I would talk about my experience while also showing you some of the amazing photos that um, were created by one of their photographers, Jose Flores, who resides in New York City and you know just give you guys an overall experience of how it went and you know what I thought of the whole thing. So without further ado, strap in for some really gorgeous photography compliments of Synthfire. Okay, so while I was shooting with Synthfire in New York City, I thought it would be a lot easier rather than suiting the entire time as Heli to keep my partial in a canvas bag and suit up on each location spot. Because of some of the difficulties I've expressed with actually fursuiting in New York, this actually worked out really well, made it a little bit safer for both myself and the photographer, and overall just made the experience a lot easier to deal with. Um, I was pretty surprised by crowd reactions. Kids were really bizarrely friendly and okay with Heli, even though she's a skull head and kind of scary looking. So that was a really positive thing that happened while we were shooting. I had a lot of kids come up, say hi, want to touch her claws, want to pet the fur. Really odd considering she's not the most friendly looking suit out there, but I was pleasantly surprised with that. A lot of the locations we shot at are some of the places that I go to quite a bit. Um, we went to Madison Square Park, as you see here. Um, we went downtown a bit. We even stopped at a local pizzeria, which was hilarious. Um, so you guys know, no pizza was wasted um, in the making of these photos. We actually ended up giving it to someone who really needed it after the shoot was done because I wasn't hungry. But again, we met some really cool kids there that were bizarrely really okay with the fursuit. And even the staff had a great time with us. It was really, really fun. But yeah, this experience in the pizza shop was pretty interesting. Um, we had a whole family that was pretty engaged with the shoot. Then we went downtown a bit and did some of the more lifestyle shots. Um, we found this really great archway that had a really cool light on it that I did a couple of shots for. Um, bizarrely, even down there, um, the locals seemed completely fine with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not used to people being that accepting or accepting of a really spooky suit. Um, I also vape, so we took some pretty neat smoke shots. Um, Heli's unique in that her eyes let smoke out really easily, creating some of these more spooky, weird looking shots. We also found some pretty neat locations that had cool contrasting colors, bumped into a few locals along the way and kind of kept making our way downtown to find some more really neat locations to shoot at. Um, some of my favorite photos from the entire shoot were actually while I was taking a break and sitting down. Um, as you'll notice, Heli doesn't have fursuit feet. Um, I haven't gotten around to that yet. Eventually I would like fursuit feet for her, but for now she just rocks combat boots because she's a badass bitch. Um, but yeah, we had some really neat like shots like this and then even had some really hilarious interactions while we were shooting in the street, such as this ice cream truck that pulled over started laughing and posed with us. Um, towards the end of the day, we got some really neat, um, kind of almost dusky photos with Heli kind of posing in the middle of the street. It wasn't too busy, so we didn't really have to worry about traffic, so that part was pretty nice. Um, and as we were wrapping up the shoot, um, we found this little platform that I could stand on and get like a bit of a different angle from. But, I mean, all in all, the shoot was really, really fun. Um, when Synthfire contacted me, I explained, you know, Heli's backstory, some of her ref photos, 
and kind of helped. Um, they kind of got the character, understood like the backstory on Heli, and it made the whole shoot way, way more fun to do. Um, towards the ends, they had me do two like faux unsuit photos to kind of show the transformation out of suit, and yeah, the entire shoot was really, really fun. <laughs> So yeah, that was my experience with Synthfire. They were so amazing through the entire process. Really, really nice. What really um, interested me when they originally contacted me is rather than just saying, cool costume, we want to shoot it, um, the contact who reached out to me actually asked about the backstory of Heli and Cupcake because they initially wanted to shoot both. Um, it was really, really nice as they wanted to know the whole backstory, like what she was all about, what her story was, why I had a fursuit of her. Like, it was a very, very, almost like an intimate process. It was so nice to, like, have someone want to shoot your fursuit and understand, like, why you had that fursuit made and, like, what that character was all about. And it just, it made the whole experience so much more pleasant and so much more fun. Um, it was really nice also to you know, have someone who was shooting with you who kind of understood your limited visibility, understood kind of some of the issues you're probably going to run into in terms of being able to see, pose, certain things I could do in suit, certain things I just really could not do in suit, and really respecting that. So to Jose Flores in New York City, thank you so much. It was a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure working with you. I hope we get to work together again in the future because these photos were drop dead stunningly gorgeous. Um, in the in the outro i will try to you know give you guys some more information but additionally i will link the photographer synthfire's um contacts and like anything else related to them in the description um if anyone has any questions please leave them in the comments i would love to a answer any and all questions about this shoot experience and you know the experience of shooting with a non-furry photographer in general but otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until the next video, I'll see ya. Bye! Okay.